Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Today I want to show you how to crochet this turtleneck hoodie and it's actually very easy. You can follow even if you're a beginner because I will show you from start to finish the whole process. We are just working in single crochet and half double crochet so it's uh, some very easy stitches to learn. Um, as I mentioned I will do it from the beginning to the end but you can also find the written pattern below where there also would be a child size included. Stick to the end of this tutorial where I will show you how to style this turtleneck hoodie and it's gorgeous. So let's begin. For the yarn I've used this big merino yarn. You can see right here. It's 100% wool and it doesn't scratch at all. You can see the other info right here. It calls for a 5mm hook. I'm using a 5 and a 6. And I think it's a weight 5 yarn. I think it's pretty thick. I think it's a bulky weight. It doesn't say that on the brand nowhere. But yeah, I will write in the description how much yarn you will need for this. And as I said, I used a 5mm and a 6mm hook. And then I used some scissors. And then a tapestry needle. And finally, I used a measuring tape. First, we grab our 5mm hook. And then we create a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we keep chaining until we have just above 20 centimeters, and that's 40 chains. Then we begin working into these chains. And we skip the first one, and move on to this second one, this one. So insert the hook in the second chain and then single crochet. In the next one, single crochet. And you keep single crocheting in every stitch all the way across. We chained 40, so you should have 39 single crochet when we are all the way at the end. When we're all the way at the other end, the first row looks like this. We will now chain one and turn. And from now on we will only be working through the back loop of the stitch. So we have the front loop in front of us and the furthest away from you is the back loop. You skip the first one, this is your turning chain, and then you insert the hook in the second stitch but only through the back loop. So through the back loop and then you single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And through the back loop of the next stitch. So like this, only through the back loop and then single crochet. And you keep back loop single crocheting all the way to the other end. You chain one and turn. Then we repeat this row back and forth. So you will again skip the first one, move on to the second where you'll back loop single crochet. So insert the hook through the back loop of your second stitch, then single crochet. Next stitch, back loop, single crochet. Then just continue like this, back loop, single crocheting, back and forth. Remember, chain one before you turn, and when you begin the next row, you skip the first one, begin in the second stitch, work your way back and forth with back loop, single crochet. Four rows, so uh, that's 47 of these bumps and 47 on the other side. 94 rows in total. And this measures 50 centimeters for me. Now we want to fold it in half and begin connecting the ends. And I will do that with the crochet hook and still number five. 
and I will just take the hook in the back loop of the stitch in front of you and in the front loop on the opposite side and slip stitch. So back loop in the next stitch, front loop on the opposite side, whoops, that's it, and then slip stitch. Back loop, front loop, and then slip stitch. Just continue all the way across. We now connected the ends and you can see on the right side it's invisible, these slip stitches, because we did it that way. So now we will break the yarn. You just cut it and pull through. And now we want to work from here all the way over here because we have this um, stitch over here, so that is not perfect. I'll just turn it around. We have this beautiful piece. And this is where we stitched it up. So I will turn it around and then I will connect the yarn over here. So just push in your hook, grab the yarn and connect it. I will just tie a knot. And we are still working with the five millimeter hook. Then we chain two. And then work one half double crochet in every row. So you have your first row here. So you will work one half double crochet in this row. Just yarn over, insert the hook, just push it in the row, and then half double crochet. And then your next row, this one, half double crochet, just push your hook in. There's no right or wrong place. And your next row, And then just continue with one half double crochet in every row all the way around. And how many rows did we have? 94 rows. So you should have 94 half double crochet when you're all the way around. And I will now throw this five hook away and grab my six millimeter hook and insert it. And zoom, so everyone can see what I'm doing. We will not connect these two because we need to have an opening right here where our face us is supposed to be. So I will chain two, so just yarn over and pull through twice, and then turn the wick. So we will be working back and forth. So now these chain two counts as the first half double crochet belonging to this stitch. So this stitch goes on top of this stitch and we will move on to the next one here. So one, two, three. In the fourth, we will do a back loop half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook in the back loop of the fourth stitch and half double crochet. Then you continue with one half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch all the way around. So just back loop half double crochet, back loop, half double crochet, all the way to the other end. When we're all the way around and I'm going to do the final stitch, so just a half double crochet in the final stitch and then I will do an increase. So I will do another half double crochet in the same stitch. So 
So from now on, we want to work on a couple of rows where we do an increase in the first and final stitch of every row. So just two half double crochet in the final stitch. And now we want to work on the next row. So chain two. And then we turn. And then we want to begin the next row with an increase as well. So remember this half, uh, this uh, chain two counts as the first half double crochet belonging to this stitch. So we want to do another half double crochet in this stitch. So just yarn over and still back loop half double crochet. So that's an increase in the first stitch. This is two stitches in this first stitch. So now you work a half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch all the way to the other end. Just one half double crochet in every stitch all the way across. When you are all the way across, you do two half double crochet in the final stitch and then you turn and then you do two half double crochet in the next. Then you work your way for a couple of rows back and forth with an increase in the first and final stitch of every row. rows in total and this measures let me see 17 centimeters this part right here and the next thing you do is that you continue for a few rows without increasing in the beginning and the end of each row so you just chain two to turn then you turn the work and then you crochet back and forth without increasing in the beginning and end of each row, just back and forth for another 12 rows. So the top part now measures, let me see, 30 centimeters. From the top all the way to the brim. Now we will close it up on the top and we will do that with slip stitches. So you just put them on top of each other and then you make a seam of slip stitches through both layers all the way across. So you just take your yarn on your hook and push through both layers Then grab the yarn, pull through, pull through. And the next stitch through both layers, grab the yarn, pull through, pull through. So just continue like this all the way across. And then finally you closed up the whole thing, so it's closed on the top. Then you will cut the yarn, Oopsie. pull through, and then you go weave in all your yarn ends, and you can turn this around. So you have this is the the wrong side with this seam. So you just turn it around, and you have your turtleneck hoodie. That's it. Now you finished it when you weaved in all the ends. So that's it. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.